Welcome to Wisteria Witches. It's Gypsy Chick. Y'all will have to excuse my hair. I know it looks like I don't have any, but I really do. I have sort of this um, retro pin thing going on today, and it's really hard to see in the camera. So, anyway, not my best hair day, but this is my... I'm in a hurry this morning, and I don't want to deal with a bunch of hair in my face and veins and such. So, Okay, moving on. I thought I would do a video on one of the things that my girls and I like to do that has to do with <clears throat> tapping into that maternal, you know, mother, female type of energy. And this isn't something that we just do on Mother's Day. In fact, we do this uh, just when we've had a hard day or when we're just feeling kind of disconnected, you know, before we go into some kind of a stressful situation or we're going to need to muster up some strength. This is kind of just a reset spot that we like to go to um, and hang out. The name of the place is called the Mother Earth Eco Sculpture and it's in Challenger 7 Park which is near where I live down here near Galveston. So it's here in Texas. The park was actually built in 1997 uh, by women and children uh, who were working with the Houston Women's Caucus for Art. So that makes it even more special. This is sort of a sculpture that honors the earth as our mother. Uh, it, it is in the shape of a female figure. If you are looking at it from above, the, the ground is, has been topographically altered to look like a woman's figure. So it's like a mound. And of course the grass has grown over it and everything. And it's, um, it's just a, a grassy knoll shaped like a woman. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, I think I have a picture of it. Yeah, so that's that is the Mother Earth eco sculpture. Love to go out there. The energy is fabulous. There's some beautiful, huge trees that the girls can climb in, and um, you know it's just it's a really good time. So that's one of the places that we that we go down here. Uh, you know, the South is is got they've, we've got some awesome big oak trees and pecan trees and. If you're lucky, you find some magnolia trees. I love climbing trees. I love them. I loved climbing them when I was younger. My children love climbing them now. And I do, that is one thing that, you know, one of the, I guess, it's, it's kind of a mundane thing, but it also can be very witchy if you're going at it with the right perspective <laughs> when it comes to going out in parks and natural preserves and just enjoying everything that's out there. There's a couple of other ones around this area and I'll have to make an effort to get the girls out there and do videos on them because it's um, it's one of those things like like Seth's video on the uh, cemetery. They're just such peaceful places. There's such old you know cool places down here that just have a really cool energy. And This one's not as nostalgic I guess as some of the cemeteries that are down here. Those are just that they're their own thing. They are old southern cemeteries are their own thing. But the parks are like the um, the antithesis of the cemetery that represents a reverence to those who have passed and um, sort of the darker, more reverent side of you know the spiritual realm. But then you have these natural parks that are bursting with life and light and it's equally beautiful and wonderful and mysterious and awesome. And so... Anyway, happy, happy thoughts. As you can tell, I'm crazy about being outside down here, especially when it starts to get hot. It's going to start getting hot. So bring it home. Gypsy and the chicks are right eye. All right. That's all I have for today. Love all of you. Blessed be.